Good morning, sweet home. Today is Wednesday, October 18th, and is a day two. My name is Matt Spence, and here are today's morning announcements. Winter athletic registration is now open. Students interested in participating in a winter sport should register via final forms. All students will need a valid physical to participate. Registration closes on November 10th. Attention seniors, be sure to check your emails for your senior quote form. All senior quotes are due by next Friday, October 20th. Attention all AP students. AP exam payments are due to Mrs. Becker in the AP's office no later than Friday, October 20th. Do you want to help your community? Do you need service hours? Join the Chef's Service Council Wednesdays after school in room 118. You must provide your own transportation. See Mrs. Van Harrison in room 103 or Mrs. LeBreak in room 105 with any questions. Are you interested in helping your school community and doing the right thing for the earth? Do you need volunteer hours for ELOs, National Honor Society, or for your college application? The Recycling Club meets most Wednesdays from 2 to 3 p.m. in room 302. Our next three meetings will be held on Wednesdays, October 18th, October 25th, and November 1st. Everyone is welcome. October 15th through 21st is National Teen Driver Safety Week, a week to raise awareness of the tremendous risks teens confront on the roads. Despite the fact that 32 states plus the District of Columbia have passed legislation outlawing cell phone use by novice drivers and 44 states have banned texting while driving by novice drivers, research shows that drivers under the age of 25 are two to three times more likely than older drivers to send messages or emails while driving. Motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death for teens in the United States. 2,608 people were killed in crashes involving teen passenger vehicle drivers in 2021, of which 861 deaths were teen drivers. An important event in LGBTQ history was the Stonewall Riots. On June 28, 1969, police officers entered the Stonewall Club, roughed up patrons, and arrested 13 people for violating the state's problematic gender-appropriate clothing statute, which required people to wear three articles of clothing associated with their birth sex. Angry patrons and residents fed up with constant harassment and discrimination from the police refused to disperse. At one point, an officer hit a lesbian over the head as he forced her into the police van. She shouted to onlookers to act, inciting the crowd to begin throwing objects at the police. Within minutes, a full-blown riot involving hundreds of people began. The police barricaded themselves in the bar. The protests, sometimes involving thousands of people, continued in the area for more than five days. Stay tuned for the enduring legacy of Stonewall, not just in New York City, but across the nation and continent. 